we got some fun things happening. I think by putting them in here, they're gonna chill out a little bit more. And by the way, look what's happening here. Do you believe this? I mean, I just happened in here, look at this. This was, of course, Bobby Rubino's cage. We need to use all available space because we got some new animals coming. 20 eggs, can you imagine? And the eggs are that big. And she had them all in her body. So the iguana complex is alive and kicking here at the camp. Okay, Lobo, you're free. What's going on, everyone? I'm hanging out here with Lobo, my partner here. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? We got a little uh, baby tortoises soaking, but I want to show you guys what's going on. No, those are those are rotten eggshells. Those are no good. You don't want those. Come on, bud. Lobo is awesome. I love this little guy. He's doing so well. But I want to keep you guys abreast of what's going on. There's a lot happening. We got new things coming, and of course, animals are shipping. Have fun, kid. We needed space. Okay, and uh, I couldn't really justify one lizard in one of these big cages, so I had to consolidate. So look, it's Lola, and she's back with Guapa. What up, dude? So I gotta keep an eye on these two. They seem to be okay. Uh, I feed them separately. I just keep an eye on them. Uh, they got a lot of room to move. We got visual barriers and stuff like that. I wanna keep an eye on her and see if we can get them to cohabitate again because I need the room, man. We got a lot happening here. Um, so I'm really excited to share with you what's going on. And you guys remember the blue iguanas, right? <laughs> well, they are no longer in here. The blue iguanas have graduated, see, no longer here. Um, the female was digging around and there's not adequate soil for her. I tried putting in a, uh, a dig box for her, a nesting box, uh, and she didn't seem to like it and I didn't like it. So what we did is we took Lola, we put her in here. Hi Lola, hi Lola girl. So beautiful, isn't she just gorge? What a gal, love her. Uh, and Lobo, what are you digging in there? What are you eating? Oh boy, he's still a puppy. He's gonna eat a couple of things while I'm doing this show. But, uh, you know, it's all right. But what do we got? What do we got here? We got the blue iguanas in this enclosure now. Uh, these guys have always been a little hyperactive, a little uh, crazy, but um, I think by putting them in here, they're gonna chill out a little bit more. And by the way, look what's happening here. Look at this. She's dug underneath there. And that's where I think she's gonna try and lay her eggs. Can you believe this? I mean, I just happened in here, look at this. Now, what's funny is this was, of course, Bobby Rubino's cage. Um, sadly, Bobby is no longer with us. Um, I did have to euthanize him because in the last video you guys saw, it just wasn't doing well. So we have an open cage here. Um, there will be some lizards being put in here. Um, we need to use all available space. Uh, for our animals right now because um, we got some new animals coming um, so I needed to switch a few things around but I thought it'd be better to give this gal um, you know a place to lay her eggs and I think that's exactly what she's doing right now she's she's going to deposit her eggs in there I'll just leave her be um, because this is you know an important time for a female iguana uh, they can get stressed out. I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what's going on. She'll dig a tunnel. So that tunnel, I don't know how far back it goes, but I do have wire at the bottom of this so they can't dig out or in. So what I'll have to do is probably take wire snips, dig back, find the eggs, and then snip the wire so I can access the eggs. And then I'll replace the wire with, um, I'll have to hog ring some new wire uh, to, again, prevent any escapes from that enclosure coming out into this enclosure. But um, yeah, uh, this is pretty cool. You know, just seeing her, yeah, I don't wanna get too close to you, Darren, sweetheart. So the other crazy thing is this enclosure itself, I have chain link that goes along the whole bottom. As you can see, look at this. This ponytail palm has been in here for many, many years and it's growing up and you can see the chain link just popping out. Um, I wanted to be super careful uh, with the building of this enclosures because I know iguanas can dig, I know lizards can dig, tortoises can dig. So whatever I put in here is gonna be completely, um, you know, secure in this enclosure. We have uh, wire going into the ground and then it is anchored by concrete. This whole cage actually has a concrete uh, form that's been buried under the ground and it's anchored to that. So this cage is very, very strong. Uh, but look at this. I think it's kind of cool, man. 
Um, these guys are gonna get used to being up here. They're gonna be happy. They're gonna grow more. I wanna keep iguanas in this main enclosure because say, for example, I have uh, monitors here. If somehow he runs out into this enclosure, right? I then won't have to worry about these guys eating him. Okay, um, not worried about that. I was originally thinking, oh, maybe I can put uh, some larger monitors in here that are coming that I'm not gonna tell you what they are yet because I wanna surprise you all. But um, I was thinking about that, like, oh, I could put the monitors in here. But then I thought, uh, if Inky jumped out and we had an issue and she ran in here and I had to get her, it'd be hard to get her before large monitors got her. So I think we're gonna keep herbivores in this main area and then the large carnivorous lizards will be kept in different enclosures. So this will remain uh, the iguana cage, but uh, there will be some young monitors here. And of course, Inky is here for the time being until we build her new enclosure. But the blue iguanas, I'm, I'm happy about. I, um, you know, I was debating, did I want to keep these guys or, or maybe, um, you know, trade them out or do something different, but they seem to be, you know, happy. Um, it'd be fun to get some baby iguanas from them. She's now, of course, this is going to be her second season laying eggs, but I think it's going to be the first season that they're actually fertile because she's large enough now to have fertile eggs, which is really, really cool. What happens with these young iguanas is they can become um, sexually mature, sexually mature in about three years. Uh, the problem is usually the first clutch of eggs aren't really good. They don't have as many follicles and it becomes, uh, it can also become a problem for the female if um, if she's too young but developing eggs. So uh, you got to be careful. Um, I try and get them to a good enough size and then they'll breed. But these guys have been together for a long time now. Um, they originally came from Thai Park's uh, line of blue iguanas, of hybrid iguanas here. Uh, they look very similar to the Cuban iguanas. In fact, they're quite closely related, but they're much lighter than the Cuban iguanas, which you saw with Lola and Guapo. The other interesting news is that we do have the iguanas, the rhino iguanas over here. We're going to say goodbye for a minute. We'll check on you in a moment. But I want to go see the uh, rhino iguanas and talk to you since we were talking about eggs and what these guys can do and what they can produce. It's kind of funny. Um, Petra, my female um, rhinoceros iguana, and Petro have been with me for many years now. I think it's going on 10 10 years right around. Um, they are awesome. They came from starborn reptiles. Um, but what we got here uh, is pretty cool. Um, originally, the first time she laid fertile eggs, I got about eight. The next year, we got 13. And this is our third year, okay? Our third year with rhinoceros iguanas here. Come on out. Um, and that's Petro. But in our third year, we got 20 eggs laid, 20 eggs, 19 are good. So really, really cool. But look at this guy. Now, hold on a second. That might be, that might be Petra. Actually, I think that is. This is Petra, this is our girl. Let's go see Petra. I wanna see what he's doing. Um, the one thing I regret about this cage is I didn't make it tall enough for me to stand, which was a bonehead move. Um, it's not as comfortable as I'd like, but since we are getting things dialed, look, everything's locked up, very important. Uh, since we're getting things dialed here at the camp in the next few weeks and months, um, who knows, maybe I'll redo this enclosure as well and make it a little bit more conducive uh, to a gentleman who is over four foot tall. I'm not hobbit sized. Oh gosh, here we go. Here we go, all right. Yeah, that is Petro. See. Sometimes I get confused. There's Petro. Hey, buddy. Come on out. Oh, come on out. That's a good boy. Go out and say hello. Go out and join the world, will you? I want to, I want everyone to see you. Go on. Oh, you got big turd smear on you. Ugh. Get out there. We'll get you clean. Um, yeah, we got to vacuum this out. I do that every few weeks. I just vacuum it out. But that turd was fresh, so he must have just laid it and laid in it el grosso uh it's cool man i just love the fact and i love my cyclora they're obviously monitors and the cyclora iguanas are my favorite lizards they're just really really fun to keep around 
I do enjoy them immensely. Come on. There you go. Here, get this off of you, will you? Let's get this turd. Turd's the word. And we gotta get it off. Ooh, ugh, gross. Yeah. I'll spray you down. I think I, I think you need a shower, boy. I think you need a shower. I love their meaty heads and their meaty jowls, and he's just such a handsome guy. And they're getting much bigger now too. They're really growing up. Uh, she did a great job. When she laid, when I first got home after she laid, she was shriveled up. She was just shriveled up to nothing. 20 eggs, can you imagine? And the eggs are that big. And she had them all in her body. You can see her hips, they're starting to fill in again because what happens is when they get gravid, all that stored fat and nutrients really starts to get used up by the eggs. And you can see her tail's a little sunken. It's a little uh, a little bit thinner than normal, you see? You can see kind of how it's a little, there's an indentation here. You want this to be thick and round. But what'll happen is this girl is gonna come back very quickly. If you saw her after she laid, you would have think she was ill. But um, yeah, she just, you know, does her thing. She's a good mom. She went over here. And she laid and she mounded everything up there and we were able to get them out, replace the mound. Um, and it's just really important. Uh, I like to do that for her, replace it to make sure that, you know, she's uh, feeling like she did a good job as a mom. So here is, look at how blue, look at how blue and how cool they are. These guys are really, really interesting. It's funny they call the blue iguanas blue iguanas, but there seems to be more blue on these rhinos, uh, which is interesting, you know. Uh, but they're they're gorgeous uh, Just a great species and hopefully we'll have 19 babies hatch out here in October uh, We get them every year and that's really really cool So the iguana complex is alive and kicking here at the camp, which is nice And you know, it's almost like I like to give you guys a bit of an inventory let you know the most current happenings with what I got going on with animals. It's been kind of a quiet summer. Um, it's been a hot summer, so there hasn't been a lot of actual uh, construction work going on here. Kind of like to wait until things cool down a little bit. So, you know, which in Florida, usually that's November, but we're gonna get to work. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that we got some fun things happening. I'm always jostling things around and uh, it's good. Hey, how you doing, buddy? What do you got? Let's see, what do you got? Come here. Lobo, here. You gotta be careful with him. Still a little boy. He's still a little guy. What do you got there? What What do you got? Good boy. What do you got, little good boy? What do you got there? Let's see. He's like having a kid. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Drop. Drop it. Yeah, what is it? Drop it. What is it? Hey, Lobo. Hey, what is that? What is that? Oh, that, that can't be good. Oh my God. What is that? Don't swallow it. I'm your dad. Ew, what is it? Oh, Jesus, it, it's an old chicken bone. Yeah, that's no good. At least it wasn't cooked. Let's get rid of that. No. Yeah. God, he's such a, you're such a terror. You're a holy terror, you know that? This guy, he's a little wolf pup. Watch this, Lobo. Down, down, down. Good boy, good boy. We give him a little proof and we'll see how long he stays in this down here while we finish this video. Good boy, I love you, good boy. I'm just trying to take care of you, man. You can't eat that stuff, it's no good for you because you're gonna kiss me and I'm gonna get salmonella and croak. Uh, anyway, believe me, if I haven't croaked yet, ain't gonna, hey, hey, what'd I say? Down, Lobo, 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 down, down. Be a good boy. All these people are watching, dude. Paid a lot of money for you to not listen to me. Lobo, you gotta go down, boy. Down, down, down. Good boy. Stay, just stay for a little bit, okay? That's a boy, stay there. Anyway, guys, this is what's happening. I like to keep you abreast of everything going down, like my dog. And uh, there's Lola. Let's see what's going on with this female. Now we gave her a little bit of time. We're gonna have to sneak back here later because this is exciting. Uh, she's been in here a few days and uh, she's still just hanging out there. So cool. So the Iguana Complex, uh, like I said, just to sum up, we gotta make use of the room I have. Two lizards 
can comfortably live in here. Uh, so Lola had to move in here. There you see, he's a little rascal. He's a little rascal, that guy. Still a lot of work, but I love him. Uh, and he's much more manageable than before. So that's good news. Talking about the dog, of course. Anyway, guys, that's what's happening. We're going to get you some videos, see what's going in there. And uh, we're going to also show you what's going in to where the uh, good old, uh, what are they? The good old blue iguanas used to live. So there you have it, everyone. Just an update. Love it. Keeping you guys abreast of everything happening at the Campo. And uh, my goodness, there is a lot going on and uh, you are gonna see it all. So if you are interested in watching some of the other videos and seeing how this place started out, you can peruse the many different videos we have floating around. Come on, boy. Yeah, that's my boy, see? You can peruse all those videos and uh, really enjoy some of the content we have at the camp. We got a lot of baby tortoises, look at this. Tortoise Central. And uh, I'm gonna get back to work giving these guys the soap, cleaning them off, and putting them in with the others. So thanks so much for hanging out with Lobo and I, and I hope you guys are having fun wherever you may be. And uh, yeah, we got a lot going on at the camp, and you are gonna see all the new things that we bring to the camp. Okay, I'm leaving, bye.